Well, the resistance hub of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine has endured another night of shelling and amid the violence, more people have been fleeing the region. The latest UN report puts the number of refugees at 250,000 people. However, as Gianni Chikian reports, not everyone is convinced by the shocking numbers. The UN says 250,000 Ukrainians have left their homes in eastern Ukraine since the fighting began. The State Department had doubted the sources of the UN's previous reports on Ukrainian refugees. Uh, and many uh, ethnic Russians uh, from Ukraine have family in Russia, some may be staying with them. Uh, but uh, neither Ukrainian border guards or, uh, nor international organizations operating in the area have reported any large outflows of refugees to Russia. But now it acknowledges, possibly for the first time, that there is a humanitarian crisis inside Ukraine. I can't confirm those numbers. I quite frankly haven't seen that from a UN report, so I'm happy to fact check that for you and see if we can confirm what we think the numbers are. Uh, we know there's a humanitarian crisis here. The State Department believes Ukrainian military posts came under fire from the Russian territory. The spokesperson did not go into detail of where such information comes from. You Correct. are convinced that that artillery mm -hmm. from Russian territory is hitting Ukrainian military. It's going into, yes, aiming at Ukraine, Ukrainian military outposts. But you are not convinced. You we can't have seen confirm, no indication. You see no indication mm -hmm. that the opposite is true, that Correct. Ukrainians are sending Correct. Out. While the U.S. State Department sees no indication that the Russian territory comes under fire from Ukraine, witnesses who live near the border inside Russia offer a different perspective. <laughs> Я только вот отъехала от дома, а муж стоял вот здесь вот. И она вот свист, и вот здесь вот, вот взорвалась. Ну, правда, уже воронку зарыли, вот здесь вот закопали, да, воронку. Ну, опасно, потому что снаряды попадают на нашу территорию. Вот мы ночью спим, часто слышно. The U.S. is now saying that Russia prepares to send powerful missile launchers into Ukraine. But again, does not specify what evidence such allegation is based on. I can't underline the information uh, that had led to that assessment. Uh, we don't have specifics about what those uh, systems might look like uh, to outline. When pressed on how officials can put out such allegations without backing them up with substantial evidence, here's what she said. It's not that it's I don't trust you, it's that the world doesn't. Of, I, I can almost ask the questions of, for you. No, it's not a question <laughs> of, of trust. It's a question of whether you can back up your, you know, your We've put out, your we've continued to put out information, I, Matt. We will continue to do so. It is difficult, um, and we're happy to put out as much as we can. Well, it appears for the State Department it's not so much about evidence, but about trust. But the fact of the matter is, Many journalists here do take the official's word for it, and the media is generally slanted against Russia.